As many of you know, this device is known as a plasma globe, and you've probably been fascinated by all those wonderful coloured streams that pass from the ball in the middle to the glass globe on the outside. You may even have tried touching it with one finger like this, and notice that when you do, you get one streamer which is much brighter than the others that you had before, and one that ends up on your finger. But did you know that inside the globe there is low pressure neon gas, and that the ball in the middle has a voltage on it of between three and 5,000 volts, and it's oscillating at some 30 to 35 kilohertz. Well, let's try a couple of simple experiments. First of all, using a simple fluorescent lamp. Bring it close to the globe, although not touching it, and you see the lamp begins to light. Take it away from the globe, the lamp goes out, bring it back, the lamp comes on again. And let's repeat that with a strip light. And just like the fluorescent lamp, this one lights up when you're close to the globe, moving it away, it eventually goes out, in again, it glows, out, it goes off. Well, that was quite impressive, but now let's try that, but with the lights off. First of all, we'll go back to our fluorescent bulb, and you see that as I bring it into the globe, it lights up nicely move it away and out it goes again and now using the strip light bring it in it glows beautifully take it away it goes out bring it back and you've got something like the weapons that were famous in a very popular series of science fiction space films take it away it goes off bring it in and it glows again. Now why does all this happen? Well it's really all to do with that very high frequency alternating voltage that is placed on the ball in the centre which generates an electric field round the plasma globe.